Okay, hello everybody. Uh, welcome to another secondary prompt analysis video. Today we'll be analyzing the 2025-2026 secondary essay prompts for Lewis Katz School of Medicine at Temple University. So uh, prompts typically don't change from one year to the next, but of course we'll update the resources on our website if they do in future application cycles. So Lewis Katz School of Medicine is located in Philadelphia. And a couple of the big picture themes to be aware of with this school include their emphasis on innovation and community service. They've integrated some really interesting new technology into their curriculum. And just one example of this is the VR anatomical models students can explore in the innovation space at the Ginsburg Health Sciences Library. Um, admission to Temple is quite competitive at under 2% in part because their average matriculant stats aren't too high for an MD program, so they receive a lot of applications. The ADCOM seems to favor applicants who also have significant community service experience, both clinical and non-clinical, uh, especially since med students will be getting much of their clinical experience working with underserved populations around Philadelphia. So before we jump into these prompt analyses, we want to shout out our secondary essay library, where we've got over 1,600 sample essays you can check out for every prompt required by every U.S. and Canadian med school. Also, be sure to check out our secondary series right here on YouTube, where we share key strategies for each of the, the six main types of second secondary essays. Um, but without further ado, let's jump into the prompts. All right, for Lewis Katz. Uh, the first one asks, what is the nature of your interest in the Lewis Katz School of Medicine? You get 2,000 characters to respond, which is about 300 to 500 words. So this is a super straightforward why us prompt. And this is where you'll really want to draw on all the research you've done about Lewis Katz to demonstrate your fit for their specific program. If you haven't done thorough research on Lewis Katz yet, don't skip this step because it could really make all the difference between an essay that actually has substance and stands out to adcoms and one that looks basically identical to hundreds of other essays. But the other thing is to remember to make your essay, your why us essay, be as personal as possible because of course, everybody is doing research on Lewis Katz School of Medicine, everyone who's applying. What makes you stand out is your own personal background, your unique interests and story. So you don't want to just tell the school about the school, right? They're not looking for that. They're not, they don't need you to tell them what programs they have. They want to know why their programs, why you make a good fit for their programs or why their programs are inspiring to you as a student, as a pre-med student coming into their program, right? So you wanna make your essay as personal and unique as possible. You wanna think of the why us prompt for Lewis Katz in any, any school that you're applying to, uh, you wanna think of it as a why me prompt. What is special about you? What are you gonna add to the school? What is unique about you? Don't just list their programs. What do those programs inspire, what do they have in them that inspires you, all right? Um, so you can get more detailed instructions on researching schools for your secondary essays in our essential pre-writing strategies video, right, which kind of talks about some of the things I just said. But to quickly summarize, you'll want to browse the Temple Med Program's website to get a full picture of their institutional mission and vision. Every med school has a few things they're really proud of that they consider to be their selling points or common themes. For example, we already mentioned a bit ago that a couple things Lewis Katz really likes to emphasize is their innovation and service to the community. So with that in mind, you'd wanna start browsing through their curriculum, clinical experiences, extracurriculars, research projects, etc., to find specific opportunities that really align with some of your own interests and goals as a future physician. Then in your essay, you'll want to lay out some specific plans you have for making the best use of those opportunities and resources at Temple. Also, keep in mind that demonstrating fit goes both ways. So while it's great to write about how Temple will make you a better doctor, it's also really important to tell them exactly how you hope to give back to their community through things like research and service. Okay, moving on to the second prompt. 
It reads, the admissions committee would like to know more about you. CAT seeks an engaged student body with a wide variety of backgrounds, experiences, perspectives, and interests to enhance the medical school experience for everyone. Please use the space below to describe what makes you unique as an applicant, an obstacle that you had to overcome, or how you will contribute to the CATS community. Okay, so you also get 2,000 characters for this one. This is a fairly common variation of the diversity essay, and your main objective when working on it should be to highlight parts of yourself that may be missing from your primary application or your other secondary essays. For example, if you highlight something unique about yourself in, in the last prompt, in the why us prompt, like I was talking about, you don't want to necessarily highlight the exact same unique attribute in this prompt, right? Um, try not to focus too much on only your professional qualities here. Of course, you don't want to present an image of yourself that contradicts the qualities that make a great doctor, obviously, but you also want to dig a little deeper and show the adcom what unique personality traits, interests, perspectives, and worldviews you're bringing to the table. A lot of applicants worry that they're not unique enough, but it's honestly not a competition. It's really just a matter of how well you can articulate what makes you who you are. For some applicants, their identity or background has given them a worldview that might be a little different from others, which can make for a really interesting essay. If you don't feel like that's true for you, though, it can be helpful to start by thinking about how you spend your time outside of classes. So what are your hobbies? Are you a member of any clubs, organizations, or communities? Do you have any interests or goals that feel really important to you, even if they have little or nothing to do with medicine? Whichever direction you take with this essay, make sure you don't just use a lot of adjectives and other descriptive language to describe yourself in general. Give examples and short anecdotes from your life whenever possible. Remember, be specific. That's really important. And then try to leave some space to explain how you how you think your unique identity or perspectives will influence your experience as a med student at Lewis Katz. For example, what kind of conversations will you have with your classmates and professors? How will you connect with the patients you interact with? What will you do in your free time? How will you get involved in the community? If you choose to respond to the part of the prompt that mentions an obstacle that you had to overcome, it's best to keep in mind the key elements of the adversity essay. Describe the challenges or obstacles you faced, explain what actions you took to pull through them, and then reflect on how you've grown. Then spend some of your 2,000 characters telling the adcom about how the skills you've gained from living through those experiences will help you become a better future physician. If you take this approach, just make sure you still make the essay about your own introspective experience and not just about something that you passively had happen to you. If those new perspectives and realizations also spurred you into action, like service to your community or advocacy, those are all great ways to demonstrate your growth as well. Moving on to the third prompt. So this is basically part two of the Why Us essay. It reads, tell us about your special interest in the campus you selected. Again, you'll get 2,000 characters for your response. So within the application, you'll have to select either the St. Luke's or North Philadelphia campus. Then you'll need to give the adcom a detailed explanation as to why you chose that particular campus. You'll want to mention things like how the resources and opportunities there are specifically suited to your needs and interests and what you plan to give back. Be sure to spend some time researching the surrounding communities of both of these campuses. Adcoms are probably more likely to take your application seriously and believe your claims about your campus of choice being a perfect fit if you can show them that you cared enough to take the time to understand the community's cultural and socioeconomic dynamics. So be as detailed as possible here. Okay, for the fourth and final prompt, you'll have a chance to write about a topic that may not have come up much in your primary application or your other secondaries. It asks, what are your plans for the current year, June 2025 until June 2026? Just like with the rest of the prompts, you have 2,000 characters. So this essay is a nice opportunity to share your short and long-term goals 
and show that you're in it for the long game. It's also kind of the AdComs way of making sure you're not going to let your foot off the gas too much just because you submitted your med school applications, right? You can share any plans you have for continuing, continuing activities or for activities that will start within the year. Just a few examples are things like future clinical opportunities, internships, research, or, or uh, paid work. You can also mention any plans for your personal life that you feel are relevant to your application and your med school journey in general. Uh, just be careful not to emphasize anything that could be a potential red flag for adcoms, like an extended overseas vacation or a huge financial commitment like buying a home. Also, keep in mind that adcoms know plans can change and things can fall through. So even though they may ask you for an update during your interview, they're probably not going to thoroughly fact check you. So as long as you're honest, don't worry about only mentioning things that are 100% set in stone already. All right, well, that's all for uh, Temple's Lewis Cat School of Medicine. We hope you find this useful while you complete the rest of your secondaries. And if you'd like to read sample essays, like I said, for every secondary prompt re required by every U.S. and Canadian med school, check out our secondary essay, Premium Example Hub. We have over 1,600 essays in total. Have a great day.